Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee and I'm at my daughter's house. I've been helping her get moved in and I'm in Florida and I'm going to be here for a little bit to get her all situated and um, everything and I'm hanging out with my mom and if you've been watching the videos I've been having so much fun with all the kids and great nieces and the older ones too and everything so um, this is a glue gun chronicles project DIY project and it is altered tin cans that I got from the dollar store and you will hear me introduce myself again because I was watching the video and it's two weeks old about because it was before I came here well it's about three weeks old it's talking about going on vacation for Labor Day well I ran to Florida instead and um, so I wanted to give you an update this is going to be my third glue gun chronicles where I have not chose a winner but that's okay because God knows who the winner is already before we do and it's already set in stone. So um, when I get back to Texas, we'll have quite a few drawings and that will be fun. So that's okay. So um, if you count how many times, and I want to laugh at myself, I kept saying hobo when I meant to say boho, bohemian. So how many times do I say hobo, and if you get the number right, which I have to go and listen to it myself and count, then you get another entry for the giveaway. So there's a couple of ways you can get uh, extra entries this time. So um, I didn't mean to say hobo, and you could hear me hesitate and say, that doesn't sound right, but um, I... You know, it was probably four in the morning when I woke up and started making that project. So, um, the dates are a little off because uh, I'm just now posting it. Because I make several at a time when I start crafting. I just start making and making. So, this is one of them that, um, with me flying to Florida and everything else, it, it got a few weeks behind. So, uh, we're all doing very well. Um, Johnny and Kyle are doing well. They ended up getting a stomach virus, but they're better. And I'm having a great time here. Isn't that pillow so cute? I got that from Walmart for my daughter. So, um, if you hear me say hobo instead of bohemian, boho style on the can, then count so that you get an extra entry for the giveaway. So, um, also, I had give credit to a lady, and I don't remember her name, but then I went looking to add it to this link, and I thought that Doreen did this. Hi, Doreen. Hi, hun. Doreen, I got your two um, uh, kits. Um, one I got before I flew to Florida, and then Johnny told me I got the other one, and um, so I can't wait to get into them. Um, and I'll give her link down below, but Doreen made it originally, and then this lady, I think, copied her, but I kept thinking, I thought it was Doreen, I thought it was Doreen, but anyway, um, so I kept looking at both of these pictures for the ideas, but you know what, you can change it up, you can paint, you can mosh podge, you can do your own thing, but it was a fun project, and I hope you enjoy it, so let's get started again and again and again here, thanks guys. Hello everyone, this is Victorian Dreams by Lee, and it's me, Lee, and it's Glue Gun Chronicle time, so I'm really happy to be here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. See, it's official, it says Victorian Dreams. <laughs> so, it's early in the morning. I've been up uh, pre-doing these projects. I found this on Pinterest, um, and I think everyone has seen them. They were only like three inches tall, and mine are quite large. But uh, the lady's name is Dawn Edmondson, so um, I'll give you the link. So this is what we're making. Aren't these so pretty? Some of them look shabby chic, like this one, 
Then this one kind of looks more Victorian. Then the other one looks kind of hobo. <laughs> so they're all so different. But they're really different in size. Um, these came for the dollar store. This is the dollar store one. And they are six, um, six and a half by four and three fourths. And then the other one, I've had these for a while. The other one is five by five and a half. I wonder if toilet paper roll would fit in this and you could have this as the toilet paper roll on the back of your um, toilet. I don't know. So, um, but we're going to make this one today the taller one. And I did it all different ways and I did it different ways to try to see which is best way to show y'all. And um, the ones on Pinterest uh, were only like two inches and they were actually throwaway garden um, pots that dissolve. So I really think that this is a good idea for table settings, um, wedding. If you're doing a wedding and you need to put something in here and put the number. So this trim, there's trim here, then there's trim here. See, that's two different trims. This is trim, there is muslin underneath, the flower with the bling and the um, doily and trim and trim. So this is the one we're gonna do, probably not exact. So let me show you the next one. But there's some things that I learned. This one kind of reminds me of hoboish, hobo style. So there's trim, 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 that's three, and then all these, and then this one and then um, a doily here, and then a flower here. So um, I also did not put trim on the inside because if you wanted to put water in this or liquid or anything, I didn't want it to snag. <coughs> Let me get a drink. Excuse me. And then this one, um, is trim here and trim here a placemat here and I'll show it to you and then trim trim another trim one two three four five six seven that's you know there's seven to ten maybe more on this one layers and everything this I didn't cover up with muslin I, I liked that you could see the color through it a little bit so okay Let's get started. On the one I showed you, uh, on this one, this trim right here was, you get these either white or cream at the dollar store, two for a dollar, and that's what it was. And I wrapped it as if it was almost a tussy mussy. And um, I glued it cut this extra this extra went here and it'll make sense when I make the next one but that's how I did that one on this one you can see that I just took and did it at angles so okay so now let's just get started with this one and I already even am so ahead of myself that I don't know who the winner is yet because I haven't done it for the um, last glue gun project, which was the wall hanging. And, uh, but I have the goodies ready for this project already. So I'll show you that too in a little bit, but I think I have to add a couple more things. So um, the hardest thing about this is you could probably use a can and I, didn't want to use a food can. I didn't want the smell. Plus, I didn't want it to cut. And um, I bought these for a dollar. I've had them a couple of years. Most of my projects that I work on, even though I give a shout out saying I'm going to do it, I think about it. I don't rush. I have so many in my head that it takes me six months before I say, oh yeah, let me get back to that. So anyway, that's my process. I really 
don't I'm not a rusher because I'm always doing so many crafts that I'm not gonna rush this is muslin from Walmart and you can barely see it but I like that you don't see it through here I like both I, I like both projects so um, Charlie is turned on and he's been working so let's see how did I do this because this is the first one and I'm on my fourth so which way will it work better so um I don't guess you need to know the measurements because your size you may use a can from peas or carrots or corn or something and um, and all and you may even paint it and just put a little I want I didn't iron this you won't see it so let me make sure okay see it's almost like a tussy mussy right there <laughs> with the shape of it so and you know um, when you're working with metal, it, um, the metal and the glue dries very fast. So you got to be pretty fast on that. <clears throat> so anyway, and it gets hot because, um, I don't know if I did that fast enough. Yeah, it's stuck. So let's turn it this way. Let me make sure y'all are in frame. So let me see, what can I do to make it better? Should I move this up? Because I think y'all might help a little bit better. I'm gonna try my hardest to stay in that pink. But, um, you know, sometimes I forget and just craft. <laughs> been really busy I I um uh, you know we own our own company and uh, if you need work and you need a job Texas is where you need to be so this isn't that hot on me thank goodness probably because I'm on my fourth one so it's not burning me but uh, maybe you should have one of the glue gun tools or um, one of these if I put it on my finger I think it's a band-aid and I have it sticking out like this and I don't use it but if I pick it up it's been the best thing um, I don't remember who it was um, uses spatulas and I know you can get them from the dollar store even and that's a great idea uh, was it V? V was it you? Um, I don't know. Um, she makes a lot of uh, doily books and everything. I don't remember if it was her or not. So, um, yeah, I've been really busy this week. My husband's probably wondering who I'm talking to because he, uh, and none of this will be seen. All If you see the little lip of glue there, none of that will be seen. Um, so let's start back here. I am only going to glue the bottom and the top. And I'm trying to pull it pretty tight to get the wrinkles out, but we don't need to iron it because it's going to be, um, hidden. Um, I don't know if this is shabby chic or if this is Victorian or what but it would be wonderful as centerpieces for a wedding or a um, uh, any type of party just centerpieces or anything look at all the gla the flyaways from the glue Ugh. metal does that a lot so now it's a it's a cockeyed shape because it's um, not totally uh, symmetrical going so we're going to trim it though I guess
guess all the kids have started school more or less, seems like. This one, let's see if I can pull that. Yes. Okay. I think we have most of it and we're just going to trim this up. reservations to go to the horse races at Rio Doso Downs on Labor Day weekend. Um, uh, it's our anniversary, September 1st, but it's also Labor Day weekend. And boy, was that a smart move I made when I got married. <laughs> I didn't realize it when I got married. It's my grandmother's anniversary date too. Then my and it was perfect, and I would go off, and my sister would babysit Kyle and Sarah, and darn if she didn't get married September second. And I'm like, no, I can't ask her to babysit anymore because, you know, she had her own anniversary to go to. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, but I don't need babysitters now. So now we're gonna just trim this side. But boy, she was a big help. But I have a lot of family and they're all such a big help. I'm so grateful. They just helped me um, find my daughter a place to live. And so my daughter, I'm just, in the last two weeks, I've just been giddy, so happy. Um, and so everything's just fallen into place. It's just been so nice. Um, it's really hard to find a place in Florida, well, in St. Augustine, because it's a historical and tourist town, and it's expensive because it's right on the ocean and intercoastal. It's, it's a beautiful town, so it's expensive to live there, and so um, we were having a hard time finding Sarah somewhere. This will go to Remnants. This is the muslin I got from Walmart. I think it was 97 cent a yard. I think I had said before that it was cotton, but after looking at it again, it's my muslin. So that went into my bucket of um, scraps. So let's see how we just trimmed everything around. But yeah, I had people looking for an apartment for my daughter, and we finally, finally got something. Okay, that's going to be most of the mess. I'm not going to have very much trimming and mess and all. So this is what it looks like, and this will be hidden. Okay, so let's see if I put the trims away or if I kept them out. So this is what I used. So let's go ahead and use the same one on this, but then when we decorate it, we'll switch it out. But this right here, I like it because it only needs to go twice. And... Um, and it's wide enough, or I could use this one. Um, but I don't, it's not thick enough for me, and I like that this has more dimension and everything, so let's stick with this one. Let's start up at the top. So, yeah, Sarah's got a new house. Um, we're building a new house, so most of everything's in storage so we overnighted keys to her for her to get stuff out of storage that's hers and um, I told her she could wait at Christmas we should have our storage here unloaded and we have from uh, one of our houses we have four living rooms of, of uh, stuff and uh, she just I'm just gonna pick what I want and then let her pick what she wants and Kyle's going to have a his own little um, house bungalow and we're going to have my studio and then she's going to have her own bungalow one day. Hopefully she'll come move there so I think we have enough furniture to stretch it but we're just going to build you know like the cottages or the bungalows whatever you want to call them. Um, not the main house, but the the other ones. They're going to be about 
I don't know, 800 to 1,000. Not maybe 1,000 is a little, you know, just a little one bedroom, something so that they can drive to the lake and hang out with us on the weekends. That's if I can get Sarah to even move to Texas. So we'll see about that. I didn't realize this is at an angle. I should have cut it right here. Let me see. Remember the trick? This nozzle, the tip of it is hot, hot, hot. So let's not rip anything. So let's just reheat that up real fast. See, I'm talking. I'm blabbering. <laughs> Y'all don't want to hear all that mess, do you? And let's just cut that straight across. That way it'll look better. So, if you ever make a mistake, it's all fixable. Crafts is handmade. Crafts is not perfect. And handmade is not perfect. And no one wants it to be. So, yep. But yeah, if we can talk Sarah to move to Texas, then she'll have a little bungalow to come to on the weekends and spend time with us. Kyle will have one. Um, and then our house. But, you know, our house is only going to be two bedrooms. We're not going to do a big, big house because he's also building me um, a studio. So, so, since he's building me a little studio, which the studio may be Sarah's home away from home if she ever comes, because then shoot, I'll put all my stuff in storage and put a bed in there, because we'll make it a one bedroom type thing with a little kitchenette. Nothing, you know, almost the same size as something like you would get when you go to a hotel and you have like a two room suite that's a couple of hundred square feet. Big. So I'm pulling this down because it's got stretch on it. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling and talking to y'all. And But the stretch, you know, might as well pull it down. That way, ooh, that's hot. And that way it'll both, you know, it only take two pieces to cover it up. So, and we'll go back around and fill in the gaps where it might be raised there. But yeah, so, you know, us building that, we're only going to do a little bit at a time. We'll build our house to live in, then probably the garage, or the garage first, I don't know. And then my studio, and then in a few years, build one little bungalow and another, and hopefully our dreams will come true. But, you know, that's just all what we're dreaming of. I gotta have dreams. So you want to lay it all that back down. A little bump here. Uh, let's get underneath that. But where we're moving to at the lake is so much further away than where we live now. And, um, and from Kyle and all, so hopefully we can say, well, why don't you come for the weekend? I have a feeling we'll probably be meeting halfway and at least meeting for dinner. So there you go. Oh, these flyaways tickle me. They feel like spider webs. Ooh, I didn't measure. I hope I have enough. This came from, I think, uh, Michael's. And let's hope that I have, and I can tell I do, and we'll go around a second time. But, Note to self, if you want to use it twice, you better make sure that you have it. And so this is going to be the back, so let's have the seam in the same place. So if we start there, and then we can pull this down. But this will also have rickrack at the bottom, if you noticed. See? So 
if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it's not the end of the world. We'll hide it. So let's just start it here. And you know, it, it's hard to stay straight on this shape. So. I'm still not used to the glue gun um, since I lost the little black tip off of it. It just feels like that tip is longer and it's not. It's just, um, this is, you know, the little black tip was on there. Oh, I almost touched that to clean it. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> but, uh, but I do clean it. That's how I clean it while it's hot. I take that little thing and clean it. Um, so I still got to get used to it. Now this is a glue gun and I just sent my mom one. Mom, have you cranked yours up and used it yet? But I get them from Hobby Lobby and they are $11. And then if you use your 40% off or if you wait for the cube or you wait for it to go on sale for 50% off, but you can always get a 40%. And so it's $7 and something. And Hobby Lobby always has sales where it is if you spend so much, it's 75 cents shipping, free shipping. So just, you know, you can find it. And they're the fine tip. So uh, the sure bond. And so go get your glue gun and um, start playing. Speaking of my mom, you know when you get a phone call and you can tell like, oh, oh what did I do? She called. She didn't get on to me, but she said, Lee, you should be more proud of yourself. And this will be um, just in my um, bucket for snippets. She said, she calls me and she, I don't know what video I set it in. I think it was just in the last one that I see how I'm pulling it and bringing it to the bottom. And if it goes over, we'll trim. So let's pull it bring it to the bottom but she says you should be more proud of yourself because I, I don't like this uh, accomplishment bragging I'm not a braggatocious type person I am talking to y'all like you're my friend y'all you 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 are, are you are you by yourself is it just you <laughs> but um she said you said you haven't worked with lace and you have been when you used to make porcelain dolls, you used to make dresses, you know how to sew, and you've been sewing since you were eight years old, and I know this. And um, she says, and you have been working with laces, and I said, I, what I meant was that I'm just new to using this glue gun on a constant basis, you know. You make put your own porcelain dolls, you pour your own molds, and... You make Fabergé eggs where you take an ostrich egg and cut it. And I have some in the other room. I should show y'all one day. I do have some of those here. And um, I make mean, carriages and all kind of stuff. So see? And we'll put trim here. And we'll trim this so that it will lay flat. So let's go ahead and trim it. So she's like, quit saying you don't know how to do lace. Or you've never done lace. You've done it. And everything. Oh, I hear my husband's phone ringing. So all we're doing is just going straight on that. So shut the door. So let's trim this or trim. I trimmed it. Let's clean it. That way the glue and all the stuff doesn't go everywhere. I don't know how long this is going to take. I hate that it takes a long time. But I can never get too fast. I vacuumed before I started. Oh, it felt good to have the whole room clean. Everything put up. Then I said, you know what? I'm even going to show goodies. And some people don't even realize what kind of goodies they get. They get 10 items of Daiso or Hobby Lobby and you know what I'm gonna show some I still have some so there you go that's pretty so now let's um, put some other stuff on it let's see so yeah my mom got on to me 
well, not get on to me. She was saying, be proud because you've worked hard of, you know, and I, and, and I have, I've, I've worked hard. So where is that seam? Is it right there? See, I'm having a hard time even finding the seam now. So I'm going to put um, a little dab of glue inside so I can see it. So I know that's the back. So, but yeah, I've done a lot of crafting. My favorite out of all um, is teaching. And uh, I don't know, I just, to see a finished product for everybody, I'm throwing that glue gun down, aren't I? Usually I don't do this that quick, but I think I already have in my head what this is going to look like. So I can do the trim here. Um, but yeah, teaching is the funnest. Um, scrapbooking is so fun because you get to see everybody's pictures that they bring and everything. Uh, but my favorite that I really miss that I can't wait to start again is China painting. So, I really, really, really love that. I'm putting the glue stick. I'm putting a glue stick in, but it, I guess it wasn't ready. Hey, guys, you know what? If I can remember, and if you can remember, if you tell me when your hands are full, what do you do to move your glue stick further in for it to work? So I'm going to take this, we trim that little piece right here. Oops, I'm sorry to be so loud. Uh, I'm going to trim this little piece, and so it won't fly away, I'm going to add some glue right there and just let it sit for a minute. And put glue on the tip of this so it doesn't fly away. And put glue here. And lay that down. So, there you go. So, if you can remember, on the comments, I will give you an extra entry. When your hands are full and you're doing a project, how do you stick this in there? I tell you what, I use my chin constantly. So, if you can remember, then I'll give you an extra entry. So, that gives you up to three. So, okay, so now we're going to put the ends, we're not going to put it inside because that way if you put water in here or grab it in and out, you don't want to snag and you want it to be um, seamless. So we'll put a trim here. Let's see, what trims do we want to use today? Um, I really like this one. I'll have to show it to y'all. I think I'm going to use it because, look at this. I got seven yards for three dollars and um, it's got netting, then the loop, then these beads, then this trim, a little bit of netting, then silk and it's stretchy. And if you watch my videos about eBay one dollar laces, this um, uh, is on the first video and if you're in my glue gun chronicles group which the link will be down below you will see where I post daily really really good deals and um, dollar laces and headbands and uh, 25 cent cameos and you know whatever people find we're all sharing in there uh, I my my uh, my reason for the group is sharing is caring. You know, I love to share. Sharing is caring, and that's what we do. There's templates and photos and all kind of good stuff in there. So if you're not in that group, you're really missing out um, because what I show you here once a week, my one week video, you you know you're missing out. So you really need to join. So I'm going to put this here 
and then put the other one. But I like that it's going above it and and so we'll do that. And this is a cream color and then we're using creams and whites. So um, also when I'm looking ahead at this, I don't want to see the seam back here when I'm looking ahead. So I'm actually starting it on the side so the eye doesn't see that seam. So if this is the back, let's do the side, which is, you know, only an inch. So let's do that. So let's just be right underneath that uh, lip. Let's see. Yep, I had it on the right way. But yeah, um, there's a lot of deals going on. I mean, dangly, flowered, all kind of stuff. Uh, postings in there. So, um, I do buy from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and vendors and oh, I've got a couple of kits that I've been waiting on a month, but um, uh, ooh la la with Doreen, but her mom's been real sick and she asked us if we could wait and um, I said sure, and I um, want to uh, order from Fiona. Oh, see, I need a glue stick. So I'll be using my chin in a minute. <laughs> want to order a couple of things from Fiona too that I saw. And um, if, if y'all don't know who Fiona is, she's my go-to. If I need to learn how to make something or just get an idea or... Uh, See, went my chin there. I'll use my go-to girl is Fiona Jennings. I think her web page is Jennings six four four. I don't know. Uh, um, I'm sure everybody knows her. I could I could also add the link. Um, she's got some kits coming out. There's a couple of secret groups where I do buy kits, and I um. I um, kind of just getting the kits for like samples to test them, see if what the quality is and everything. Um, I don't really want kit kits where everything's done and all you do is just glue like paint with colors in the numbers and it's all set for you. Because when someone puts the kit together, it's their thought process, thought process. And I want my thought process. I bought a kit um, a couple of months ago, and I'll never use it because it's over been so many pictures. So many people have the same thing, and and um, it's just you know it's been overdone. And I'll probably give it away and let someone that is in need. So anyway, there's that. But yeah, I just like to get kits when I can put them as a sampler and just sample stuff. I don't want something, you know, color by numbers, white, white, brown, brown. <laughs> so um, now we're going to put, what's the next layer? So I guess we are, let me move this out of the way. Let me concentrate. We're going to use this trim. And when you saw the other two buckets, where are the other two buckets I made? Oh on the chair when you saw the other two buckets so this has a white lace and then this trim um, and then the beads and then this uh, lace so that's one two three because that comes with it's really four pieces but it comes in one and this one has um, the white like I just used then this trim and then the other trim but to save time and it's such a good deal and you know you don't mind covering things up we'll use this one so we've had so much rain here it's been unbelievable how much rain we've had this is the back so let's start on this side and I don't want to get this glue in the way so I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna go slow because I don't want the glue 
and I'm not going to pull real tight. I, I like the gathered. So, yeah. Um, I've got so many projects that I've already been working on, and I need to do a project share. But, you know, I'm pretty just in a happy place. My daughter finding a new home and we've been looking for three months and uh, my son, well, Johnny's Ford, what was his truck? It was a diesel King Ranch and the darn thing, um, the motor blew up. It had over 300,000 miles, 350. So motor blew up and Kyle's like well I was going to give dad my hand-me-down but I'm not quite Ooh, I'm not holding that I'm rushing so let me take my time but Kyle said I was going to buy a new truck and let dad buy my hand-me-down but now dad's going to go buy a used truck and I said yeah he, he doesn't want to buy a new one um, with us building the house and we just got rid of car payments, so we just didn't want a new car payment. But Kyle went ahead and bought a new truck, used Johnny's truck as a trade-in, and um, Johnny got his truck. And so Johnny's happy because Kyle really, he's a clean, clean freak. He, he would wash it three times a week sometimes because he's going on job sites so um, let me hold that down so he used Johnny's truck as a trade-in and um, Johnny got his so Kyle has a new truck Johnny has a new truck I mean Johnny's new truck is only a 2014 so I just, everything's just falling into place. Um, prayers, you know, I've had so many people praying to help us with Sarah to find a place. And and um, everybody's health is good right now. And I talked to my mom twice yesterday. So it's just, everything's really good. But you know, remember... It wasn't a month ago that someone followed Johnny home from the bank and stole $4,100, $4,700 out of, um, broke into our truck right as we're here. So, um, what a difference a month makes. So, let me cut that. So, let's glue this. So, yeah. Sorry, I just keep rambling. So, there you go. Let's fluff it up. Because we were... Let me see. I like these to um, not be separated when you tack it down just a hair. See the flyaways everywhere? When you tack it down just a hair, it looks like one continuous piece. So, okay, so this is the back. This is the front. We're almost done. Um, what do we need to do? We need to do a doily. We're going to put a doily on. I don't have one ready, but we surely can get one really quick. That's too small. That's pretty. Cut it. I got this from an antique shop. So let's cut this one. Good morning, honey. Good morning, beautiful lady. I'm videotaping, honey. On pause. It's on pause. It shouldn't be. Hold on, guys. Hi, guys. 
Johnny wanted to say good morning. He thought it was on pause. It scared me because I'm thinking, oh my Lord, I did all that. But it was on. And so we talked for a minute and I am uploading and this will be part two and I'll smush them together. So all we're going to do is show some goodies for the giveaway and finish this. So do we put a doily on here? Let's see, the front is right here. So do we put a doily on here or do we um, go to my box that Phoebe gave me and she gave me um, appliques and I think appliques would be really pretty too. Um, but if I did appliques, I also wanted to use some bling. Um, so, yeah, look how pretty this bling is. This is one of the things from that eBay sale. See? Now, this one wasn't. This one was pricey, and um, it was in a different haul. And it's the same cameo, but this has got gold. But... This was so much cheaper, um, so yeah, look out there guys and try to find the best deals, or these blings, or this, so I don't know what, I kind of want to use a bling, kind of want to use a bling, so I think we're going to use a doily, but yeah guys, go out there and search those stores and get all the good prices you can so we can craft and have fun. I am so ahead of myself. I cut that doily. I don't know if y'all saw that. I'm ahead of myself on Christmas because, you know, I could stick a beautiful plant in here, homemade cookies. I mean, this would be really nice for a table setting for a wedding to have the number of the table or a candle. Um, so yeah, this is a fun project, uh, didn't take very long, let's see, where I cut this off of the, I ended up gluing down those pieces so they don't fray. And we'll hide that under the trim here. I want to show you some of the goodies. I don't have them all. But if you don't watch thank you videos that people make me. And that's so sweet. Thank you guys. It's so sweet to get those thank you videos. And I hear your voice and you're happy and all. But that's pretty. Do we want, oops. Do we want that one? That's pretty too. You know, I love me some cameos. I even handmade some cameos I could put on here. Or the flower. Let's see. I'm going to save my appliques that Phoebe gave me. Um, for something really special. So, let's put this right here. Or do I want the bigger one? I've got some more of these coming in. I just ordered them. to glow and finish this up put it in the center and ooh, it's warm so there we go guys finish this project sorry that my husband scared me but I wasn't gonna be able to be done anyway so let's look at them again this was my first one One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A lot of layers. Didn't want to put any danglies. I, you know, it's not a dangly type project in my eyes. But I've got several more to make. So I think I'll do a dangly one too and, and all. But 
Oh, I've got Christmas presents. This is the one we just made, and I think I'm going to probably send some of this trim in the goodie uh, bag because sharing is caring, so I have some, and I, I would like to share it. And let's see. This was from a headpiece. It had four flowers. This is one of the flowers, and this was two of these, and I broke it apart, and um, the headpiece was 64 cent for four flowers. So, you know, and then I'm using it for projects. So, little wires from the um, uh, leaves, and these were from Hobby Lobby, and I can move them around, and there's that. So, and the trim is from Hobby Lobby. This still has the tag on it. Let's see if we can get it off. Ah, good enough. Okay, and then this one. This is um, kind of like a hobo, hobo, hobo style, and it's got one, two, three, a lot of trims, so I really enjoy that. I found these on the internet just the other day in all different kind of colors, pinks and whites, and and um, I think six layers. Is this six layers? One, two, three, four, five, six layers, and they were... Um, I want to say under a dollar. Oh, gosh, I don't remember. Everything I was looking at was under a dollar, so it had to have been. And these doilies are from Gabby, Amy, Mon, um, and I've shared those several, several times. They're really shiny. So now, let's see. I'm glad I gave you several different ways to do this uh, with the muslin or without. Um, let's move Charlie out of the way. Um, there will be pictures at the end. Um, so you want to see what prizes you could win? If you comment. Let's see. We got two tin parts. This is the Daiso. We got this because it matches that. So how cute is that? I mean, this could be a little notebook for the kitchen and then, and then that. I just love the pattern. This is really cute for fall. Ribbon tape. There's four colors. Let's see what else I'll give you this time. Whoa, that's quite a bit. One, two, three. There's nine pieces. Eiffel Tower. Um, Janie just got these, I think. Well, I don't know. These clocks are different. I don't know. Um, some trim. <laughs> we could have used it on this. But yeah, some trim. Let's see. This is all Daiso. Uh, this is a Daiso one, something like what I just used. There you go. And some bling. And let's uh, say that we'll put some of this trim in there. So that's a weekly giveaway just because caring is sharing and I love doing it. And um, I'm so grateful for y'all to watch and you join my Glue Gun Chronicles group and um, you like Victorian Dreams by Lee blog on Facebook and um, I have a Pinterest site and y'all are so nice to me and and this is the way I show love back um, is I've always been a giving person and, and I'm trying not to cry because I'm happy that we're all in this um, community together so Thank you guys for um, taking the time and hanging in there with me. And I'm um, babbling, babbling all day. Let's turn Charlie off and say goodnight. Goodbye. Be safe, everybody.